what's the excuse going to be now? Is it going to be that the fumble for a touchdown should have been called as it stood? And to be honest, it should have been. There was no evidence that he lost control before he went down. But the point is, Mel Tucker still would have likely found a way to win, or at least come back and cover the spread, even if that happened. This is, oh, to me, is just so, so depressing. It, this is so depressing, seeing this game. This is, I, oh my goodness. This is so depressing. And I'm not going to, before we get into this, do not, do not, if you're a Michigan fan, do not call for Cade or JJ to be cut. Do not. They helped us win. The quarterbacks for Michigan, outside of that fumble, played near perfection. And in a tough environment against a tough team like MSU, you expect mistakes. I expected Michigan to get sacked a few times. I don't even think they got sacked once. We'll get into some of the stats later. And I did expect Michigan to probably get one turnover. I just expected it. Like, honestly... Yeah, Michigan didn't Michigan State didn't sack us once. Their pass rush. Hey, guess what? Michigan State fans and other fans who think MSU is an elite D line. You couldn't sack a team that has no mental toughness. But congratulations on your win. You know, Mel Tucker is a great head coach, and I am seething right now. But that's not gonna stop me from accepting what the reality is. And the reality is that this team despite beating Wisconsin, is, um well, <sighs> we're back to square one. We are back to square one. And I can't, I can't be mad at Michigan's players. I am mad at the coaching staff. Because Andrew Anthony, despite only receiving six yards, having six receptions and being a freshman, exposed Michigan State's clown show that is a defense. This defense is leads the Big Ten in sacks, is a bend-but-no-brick defense, allows 33 points. And yes, you held us to four field goals. I could care less. If Michigan's if Michigan had a pulse, the score would have been 30, no, it would have been 40 to 20. If, if, if Michigan had a pulse, the toughness, the mentality, and the coaching, the scheme cost us this game. It absolutely cost us this game. I will never ever, ever buy into the fact that Michigan State in this game is so much more talented than us and that the transfer portal won Michigan State this game. No, don't 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 get yourself kidding. The transfer portal helped. Mel Tucker won them this game. Transfers don't allow you to crawl back from a 16-point demoralizing deficit when you can tell. When Michigan State was down by 16 points, you know what the fan base did? Down by 16, they were quiet. That stadium was quiet. There was a lack of confidence. And Kenneth Walker and everyone, they, they, they continued to fight on. And this is, to me, why Harbaugh, and this is why I hate it when people defend him. If, he, if, if we were down 37-33, to 33, if we choked and then on the final drive won, I would, even, I would be this mad. Believe me, because good programs don't choke a 16-point lead. Good programs would have put Kenneth Walker and Peyton Thorne in a grinder, and they would have grinded them up, and they would have been mentally broken for the rest of the season. I just named what Ohio State's about to do to everyone, including Michigan and Michigan State. It's, this, is, this is insanity. And we are now once again the laughing stock of the Big Ten. Once again, Michigan State within two years has done more than Michigan has done in the past 15. This is asinine. This is unacceptable. We are in year seven. We are in year seven. We actually have competent QB play. We actually can pass down the field. And listen, if if you're thinking, oh, but like Cade threw a pick it, it, and JJ fumbled the ball. I, I don't want to hear it. I don't. They were the reason we stayed in this game. And this is ridiculous. And I will be livid about this game. 
And I, I forgot to say what state fans can't say in the comments. State fans in the comments, you are not a playoff team. This is going. This is like Oregon beating Ohio State. Oregon, Michigan, I still think being the more talented team, and even by the end of the season, might be even the better team. But Michigan State still won head-to-head. Michigan State has state bragging rights, and they will finish ahead in the Big Ten, most likely. And Michigan State is the better coach. I don't know about assistant coaches, because Michigan State sure had some awful moments. And Michigan State's offensive line is a joke as well. Michigan State fans, do not go in the comments and say that you have a playoff team. And most of you won't because a lot of state fans are reasonable. The squeaky wheel always gets the noise. Most Michigan State fans are reasonable. The ones I talked to today, for the most part, were actually reasonable. But even more so, along with Michigan you know, criticizing the quarterbacks, do not glorify your quarterback. Kenneth Walker won you that game. If you had Elijah Collins, if you had Jordan Simmons and Peyton Thorne and you didn't have Walker, I don't care if your coach is the better coach. You would have lost this game. Thorne, no, Thorne tried to give the game away by not being aware in the pocket. Like, just literally staring down the field, knowing that he's already been sacked and pressured several times. Oh, he, here I go. Coughs up the ball one time. Almost two times. Walker won you that game. And your coach won you that game. So Michigan fans, do not criticize the quarterback. Criticize the defense. State fans, do not glorify your quarterback. Glorify the guy who should win the Heisman and Kenneth Walker. Now let's get to the game and the stats. This team chokes. They are who most thought they were. Oh, but this is the year. Shut up, you. Shut up. Even I thought we had little to no chance of beating Ohio State. Like, come on, guys. The fact we had to settle for four field goals is an example. And listen, yeah, MSU's bend but no break defense did help them win. They're not the reason they won. Bend but not break defense. Defenses don't allow 33 points a game. That's stupid. They don't allow Michigan to dominate on third down with long passes. I mean, our, you made our receivers look like Desmond Howard. You made our punt return unit look like Desmond Howard. Our special teams, A.J. Henning, and this is why I hate that we lost, A.J. Henning looked like a better player on the return side than Jaden Reed did. Like, come on. This, this is what makes me mad. This is, and, and Michigan State, honestly, they, they made more mistakes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They won because of coaching. They won because of us. We, and I'm, this is not taking away credit from State, because some State teams in the past would not have pounced on the opportunity. We gave them opportunities, and they took them. This is what makes me mad. Ohio, you... Literally, third quarter, 30-14, to 14, we were doing to them what Ohio State does to us every year. We were outpacing them. We were breaking them. I mean, you could see it on Kenneth Walker and Thorne's face. They were mad. They were frustrated that they could not move us at the beginning of that third quarter and that we could casually push them down. But they fought. A good Michigan team with a good, not even asking for greater elite, a good head coach would have won this game. And let me tell you something right now, too. I bought tickets to the Penn State game. Admittedly, I thought that we would win this game. I just thought we did. I I honestly thought that, like, looking at how Harbaugh and the staff have been doing so far this year, that unless we... Like, unless we, I did not think we would choke this game. I thought that if anything, we would have, the way we would have lost is we would have fallen behind early. That's what I, that's what I thought. I thought we would have fallen behind early and lost. If we would have lost, it would be because they got explosive and we got complacent early on. I did not expect it to be the other way around. 
We, yes, Michigan were explosive early on. State was in hibernation for the great portions of this. It is unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable. We outgained them in total yards. We outgained them in first downs. We outgained them in TOP. And Michigan State fans, okay, I'll get to you later. Michigan fans, do not excuse the fumble for the touchdown. That should have been a touchdown. It doesn't matter. We still lost the game. It d- doesn't matter. It, do, do not go in the comment section saying it was rigged. Because I don't care even if it was. We were the more talented team and we were ahead by 16. I could care less. Get out of here if you say that. Michigan State fans, this bend but no break defense scheme is a joke. It is a joke. I was sitting. I was sitting here... I was not mad that you held us to field goals. I mean, I was more irritated with my own offense than with you because I've seen how your defense works. You let Indiana score more points on you than Ohio State does, and you supposedly have a bend but not break defense. Anyway, I was mad at our defense. and We'll get to the defense later. Michigan State's defense is a collection of people with 20-10,000 vision. With with twenty that that is the collection of this defense. I mean, they can't cover, they can't get pass rush. They didn't sack us once. Nebraska and Northwestern sacked us more than Michigan State did. In what bizarro world do we allow that to happen? We prevent the defensive line, who leads the Big Ten in sacks, from sacking us. So the offensive line is elite. The defensive line and defense was exposed. This offense is even better than I thought it was. We still lose. I am livid. And my life is greater than this game. I did not cry about this game. I did not even yell at this game. I just kind of disappointedly slouched in my in my couch. It's like, oh, really? Like Mel Tucker is going to get away with another error-ridden game and win. And, and we let him do it. And this is, again... State fans, do not think I am like taking credit away from your coach. Your coach won you this game. Literally, period, amen. And this also, you know what? If D'Antonio was coaching this game, I don't care if it's old, stubborn Mark. Same thing with 2020. D'Antonio, honestly... D'Antonio would have not blown this lead if he was Michigan's head coach. I don't care if it was stubborn Mark or not. It wouldn't have happened. We have an issue with the head coaching position. We, again, I will stand by the fact that I think we weren't at, we weren't the as arrogant as State was. I thought State was a little arrogant. But this, again, proves my point. If an arrogant team comes back and beats you, that means you are weak. You are mentally weak. Or... Michigan has some arrogance that we did not know about, honestly. So, listen here. This is interesting. Michigan State and Ohio State are the leaders in the East. Wisconsin, from what I understand, unless Iowa majestically came back and won. No, Wisconsin won. Wisconsin controls their own destiny and should be ranked. Wisconsin is back to being Wisconsin. And... This is this is interesting. This is beautiful. Like, now that we've lost a state, I, c- I could care less. Michigan State is a beautiful Cinderella story. It will end at some point. It's still an impressive job. But Michigan, Michigan's future is painfully obvious. It is so painfully obvious. We, Michigan fans, do you want to win more than 10 games a year? Tell me in the comments below. Tell me right now. Because we can still win 10 games this year. But do you want to dominate your rivals? Do you want to get around and smirk at your rivals like just and tell and say, we told you so. We dominate you. We own you. Do you want to say that? Because if you do, this coach needs to get out of town. Harbaugh, unless this team wins out, beats Ohio State, wins the Big Ten, and even then, 
even then, because that would imply that Michigan State in the end is the worst team, this loss would still bother me, and I won't have respect for Harbaugh. If he doesn't pull a magician's card and win out, I will be calling for his firing. So Harbaugh, in my books, you should be on the hot seat. Your staff, I don't know. You know, clink scale, let me just say this. Oh, oh, your your corners suck. No, our corners did our job. Our corners owned your wide receivers, except for that fourth and four. The issue is... Our D-line, what I thought was the strongest point, what I thought was hiding the foibles, what I thought was hiding the weakness of our coverage was actually the weakness all along. That is what shocks me. That is demoralizing. When you think, and when the stats, and even when Michigan State, Michigan State fans praised Michigan State's D-line, when everyone did not expect this to happen, that is what's demoralizing. I guarantee you, you would have told state fans that Thorne would have never thrown a touchdown pass. They would have said, oh, well, (laughs) RIP. It didn't happen. So this game, Tucker is a great coach. And listen, I mean, Tucker now has a decision to make. Because now that he's won here, listen, LSU, USC, they're going to come to the door with money, 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 money. And state should... D- depending on how the season goes, state has to has to keep him if they're if they're intelligent. And I don't even want him to leave. I want to rise to the challenge. And I think that Tucker being here is a positive for Michigan to look forward and to abandon the old. We need an innovator. We need to retry with the spread. And if you're an older Michigan fan, you're probably thinking this guy's a lunatic. Because yes, I'm basically saying we need to find what would be the modern day Rich Rod, the modern day Urban Meyer, like new offensive innovators, and we need to get them here now. And we need to get the guy with the right culture as well. We need a cultural guy who innovates because then everything else will fall into place. Then the defense will be mentally tough and the defense will be consistent and they won't let Walker you know, run for 200 yards on 23 carries. And don't get me wrong, again, Walker's a Heisman. It would be hard to defend this guy even with anyone's defensive line. But yet again, Indiana shut him down, and Nebraska shut him down. So this is what's right. So going forward, and I've done my rant. I can only rant so much. Going forward, Michigan State... You need to find cons- you need to find offensive consistency because you don't have it. You what you have is a coach who finds ways to win. And I said this before the game and it came back to bite me right in the butt. I'm now bleeding everywhere. Help me. Michigan unless you win out the season's over. It's it's just plain and simple. Like the Ohio State game now determines how you're the, the Ohio State game determines who you are now. Like before, before this game, if Michigan won, I would have straight up said, if you lose to Ohio State, I can't hold it against you. I can hold it against you now because you showed me, cookie cut, that you can tear up average secondaries. In Ohio State, they have an average secondary outside of Burke, who is an amazing freshman. And you showed me that you can um, basically bully elite defensive lines at the line of scrimmage. Still couldn't win. Michigan, it looks pretty bad. Michigan State, it looks pretty good. Michigan State, the air is being let loose. The air, if, if, if any arrogance or confidence, whatever, they're not the same thing, was left, it was just popped today. Michigan State, you have an opportunity. You cannot get ahead of yourselves because Purdue, Purdue can pass. Purdue does turn it over. But even more so, Penn State will... Uh, they'll either be demoralized or mad. You have to pay attention to them. Maryland still has a QB, and with your terrible secondary, I would not be shocked if Maryland could somehow put up 28 points or more on you. And Ohio State, you need to just, you need to keep doing what you're doing, but find offensive consistency. And maybe you can't. Maybe you have, maybe this is your best game. 
in which case you will likely finish 11 and 1 or 10 and 2 and enter a new year six bowl and you'll get a double digit win season and nothing more but that's great for you that is a huge achievement if i was a state fan i would have man i would be so excited I and I would absolve Mel Tucker of any future mistakes for the rest of the season unless we lost all of our remaining games. Michigan fans do not go in the comments defending Harbaugh. Just don't do it. Don't do it. And this video is different and all and there doesn't ha- there doesn't have a lot of takeaways to it. But the reason that doesn't is because this was a different kind of loss. This wasn't a loss where we just got beat hands down and all that. This was a loss where we choked. This loss deserved a rant. It deserved nothing less. And if I could scream at the top of my lungs and it be socially acceptable, I would do it. So Michigan State fans, be happy. You can make fun of me all you want. In fact, Ohio State fans, you all can make fun of me because I cheer for a team who is a collection of mentally weak individuals. I I can't come up with a better word or better word than individuals in Michigan state. And, you know, just go away, Michigan, go away, Michigan state, just do, do whatever. Just promise me that just promise me that we'll beat you in the future in some humiliating form of fashion, Michigan and, and Jim Harbaugh, go away, Jim, Jim Harbaugh, seriously, leave. I want nothing, want nothing to do with you unless you somehow beat Ohio State and then next year beat Michigan State. I want nothing to do with you. Go away, please, just please. Thank you all for sitting through and patiently watching this. And if you're a Michigan fan, I understand your frustration. And if you're a Michigan State fan, good for you. I am not giving excuses there are there's no excuse to losing the way we did if ohio state was ahead of you by 16 and ohio state is the bar for me then we would have if we were ohio state we would have crushed you It, it, it we didn't though so good for you you did what you had to do and you won and now for me i am going to be demoralized the rest of this football season so thank you jim harbaugh for taking away my happiness for this team. Thank you. Thank you, Michigan's defensive line, for letting Michigan State run all over you and and celebrate before getting to the end zone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for once again being on track for Michigan State to start a new record-setting win streak against us and for Ohio State to do the same thing. Thank you. Thank you. And Ward, you don't fire Harbaugh, you're going to lose all of our respect very quickly. That's all I have to say, and I am, I am just so, I am done. I'm done for the day, guys.